Got a new battery by Ocmo. 12.8 volt, recommended charge current 20 amps, maximum continuous discharge 100 amps, and 1280 watt hours. Let's open it up and check it out. Product manual, service card, two sets of terminal bolts. They look to all be the same size. So it looks like it's 8.27 inches tall, 6.5 inches wide, and 10.04 inches in length. So it has LifePo 4 cells, 5 year warranty, 4000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge, 100 amp BMS board inside, 50 amp standard discharge current, recommended charge current is 20 amps, maximum continuous charge current 50 amps, maximum continuous discharge current is 100 amps, weighs 23.15 pounds, IP65 rated, and it says it has low temperature charging protection. Shows you how to connect them in the different configurations. Let's see where we're at on charge. 12.76 volts. And it does come with the uh, protective plastic caps for the terminals, which I like. All right, we'll get this connected to a charger, get it up to a full charge, and then we'll run a capacity test. Okay, at nine hours and 10 minutes, our discharge capacity test is complete. We're currently sitting at 11.6 volts, 105.63 amp hours, and 1,307.18 watt hours. So the battery definitely meets its advertised capacity rating of 100 amp hours. I'll get this battery charged back up and we'll do some discharge testing next. The product manual states in the specifications that the Ocmo 100 amp hour battery is capable of 100 amps continuous discharge. So we're going to test that. I've got the Alpha 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. It's my induction cooktop with a pan of water. And we need somewhere around 1200 watts or so to get 100 amps out of this battery. I will start a timer so we can see if we can run 100 amps out of the battery continuously for 5 minutes or so. And see if it's capable of handling it. So we'll turn on the inverter. I also have an amp clamp set up here so we can see what's coming out of the battery. And we'll just start with medium temperature. We'll set this for 900 watts. And start it. We won't start the timer quite yet. Okay, that's giving us 73 amps. Let's go ahead and kick it up one notch. We'll go to medium high. That's 95. Let's go to high. All right, that's going to put us a little bit over. We're at 120, so let's start the timer. And we'll just let this run for about five minutes. 121 amps coming out of the Ocmo 100 amp hour battery. And we just passed the five minute mark, pulling about an average of 122 amps out of the Ocmo battery. Now just for fun, let's kick this up to uh, max sear, see if it shuts the battery down. So that's quite a bit over its rated 100 amp hours continuous. I won't let that run too long and we'll, we'll shut it down. Starting to build some heat in the terminals here. I can still hold my hand on them with no problem. They're not that hot, but there's, they're getting warm. All right, that's been about a minute. So let's go ahead and we'll shut that down. Stop our timer. I know someone watching this video is going to wonder why I did not test the low temperature cutoff on this battery. I personally don't have a good method to really effectively test that. Now I can throw this in the freezer and see if it'll charge or not, but Really, you need it to cut off at zero degrees Fahrenheit right at that point or you could potentially damage the battery. So without knowing exactly what temperature the battery is, 
testing that with a charger if it's well below zero is not really going to be an effective test. I'm a huge fan of the Group 24 batteries just because of their size and you can still get 100 amp hours out of them so you can wire them up without using a lot of extra space. I'll link the battery in the description for those of you who want more information about it and I'll put links to the other items I used in the video for those who may be interested. Click the video on the screen now for another one of my videos and we'll see you over there.